Wake Up Call, Avinda, July 3, 2017 By Nancy Tate Website, Tree of the Golden Light If there is a way to start this new day it is with the knowledge that it is already in the works to bring the newness of your life into the foremost beauty that it can be. It is a time for us all to bring the news of the world into our lives and into the way we live our lives. As that happens we will see what it is that we are headed for in our moment-to-moment -moment revival of who we are and where we will be going from there. You ask, what do you mean by where we will be going from here? Is it something that we can predict, or is it something that Spirit will be showing us the way to go to? What I say to you is that you bring forth the spirit of what is coming for you because you are creating it in everything you do and say and feel. It is a matter of you expressing the spirit within and creating not only what you have desired to manifest, but what you are living in the energy of your power through love. As we bring these words to your inner self and you express them in your own unique way, you are carrying through with the plan that you brought with you into this lifetime on this planet. You are carrying through with whatever intention you have inwardly, and are expressing it outwardly to the world. This is the power that you all have and you are working in a unified way to bring it all to the joyfulness of what you create and the love that is at the root of all that you do. Yes, love is the root of all of life for it is what created this whole scenario of life. It is what continues to bring forth the expression of what you are sharing with all of life. It is the beginning of the forevermore, in this world and beyond, for it was meant to be, and is going on as you all perceived. It isn't the details that you are living that you all saw, but the forward going of what you are creating in the essence of love for all of life. Yes. I realize that it may not seem that way to some of you, for you look at what the ones who are in the background energies, that seem to be so evil and dark. My dear ones, they are the ones who chose to serve the others in a way, that can show them how expressive it can be to live without love, as the boiling point for what they choose to do. Yes, they are going to one day be back in the purity of love and begin their expression in a different way than the one they chose to experience in this expression of life. They will find that they have given not only themselves the gift of expression of the absence of love, but they have shown all of those who have chosen to express in love what they have been doing since the beginning of this expression of earth life. I say this to you, so many of you have realized this, and are doing what you can to send them all love and to help them to turn away from what they have been doing, and to follow the feelings that have always been at their beck and call, to turn to, in order to change their lives. It is all up to each individual what choice to make. Now so many more are choosing to live the love in light, peace and joy, for the rest of their lives. This is what it is all about dear ones. As we all go through our lives, and express in the way that we are inspired to, know that it is the choices that we have made, and it all has been based in love. Love is all there is that comes to peace, joy, and light in our lives. Rest in the creation of what you do in the love that is always with you. All you need do is to choose it to express in, to be able to show all of life that you are all one. Thank you dear ones, for being who you are. With much love, Nancy Tate